What is the most OP build for Yuri in Fire Emblem Three Hopes? By popular demand, I bring you Whirlwind Yuri. This is one of the most satisfying builds that I've created. So let's get right into what class we're going to use. It was a toss up between Mortal Savant and Trickster. Mortal Savant has the added crit chance, which could be pretty useful for this build, but Trickster offers an unrivaled speed that makes the build a blast to play. Feel free to use either, but we're running with Trickster. Yuri's weapon might actually look familiar. This is the same weapon we used on Sylvain. That's because we need the exact same attributes. Chain level 3 and boost consecutive hits level 3. Chain allows us to keep up our combo throughout the entire map, and consecutive hits allow us to boost our damage based on that combo. Yuri uses the Crest of Aubin, so as such, Fetters of Drami is not only fitting to use, but it makes the movement speed of this build on par with a cavalry unit. The battalion is a toss-up in this build, so use whatever gives you the hardest time. My placeholder is Resist Armor, but I might switch it out for Gauntlets in the future. We're going to be using one combat art and one magic spell. This is where Whirlwind Yuri gets his name from. Windsweep generates a short cyclone to damage surrounding foes. This combat art is your fill-in ability while Excalibur is on cooldown. Excalibur is your main spell for this build since it not only does pretty decent damage, but it generates a crazy amount of combo quickly. Although your spells are very important in this build, their main purpose is to generate combo. Most of your damage is going to come from things like your warrior special or your awakening or even your regular attacks or class actions. On to the unique abilities. We have Deceit which creates an orb of wind. This draws in enemies and then explodes, knocking up enemies into the air and applying the Windhorn status effect. The ability isn't the worst I've seen, but it's also not one of the best. Schemer greatly restores your Awakening Gauge with each successful dodge. I don't dodge too often, but if it's part of your playstyle, this is a pretty big advantage. And finally, Honorable Spirit boosts your damage by 50% when being ordered to defend. We have four class abilities. Lock Touch gives us the ability to unlock chests and doors without a key. Pass makes it easier to perform a perfect guard. Lucky Seven randomly boosts our stats for each enemy commander defeated, while Axe Buster 4 increases our damage against axes by 95%. Now let's get into the nitty gritty, our abilities. I'll let you know where I got each ability at the end of the video as per usual. Sword Prowess 3 is a 30% boost just for wielding a sword, and Boost Critical increases our crit hit chance. Rejuvenation restores HP for every 800 hits, and Piercing Gaze does the exact same but for the Warrior Gauge. Every time you throw out a cast of Excalibur, Assuming there's enough enemies, you will easily proc both of these effects. And in the right scenario, you may even proc it twice. Essence of Wind creates more powerful abilities out of our Windsweep and Excalibur. Not only does this boost the damage by quite a bit, it also increases the range of these spells. For what it's worth, this also applies to Deceit. And it does make the ability a little bit better with a little more range and a little more damage, but it's still pretty underwhelming. Burst of Resolve restores the Awakening Gauge for each crit, and when you're hitting that frequently, with tornadoes that last that long, your Awakening Gauge fills up really, really quickly. So much so that in a short three minute mission, I had two procs of the Awakening Gauge and almost had a third. Cyclical Specials boost the Warrior Gauge fill rate after a Warrior Special, while Battle Instinct boosts both bar fill rates until one is completely filled. Absorb Speed gives us a minor speed boost for each defeated enemy commander that lasts for the entire battle. This is important because the higher our speed, the faster our abilities come off cooldown. A high speed stat will also extend the Awakening Gauge while active. 
Dual Onslaught is the last ability of the build, and it's one of the most important ones. Since this ability allows your strength to factor into spells and our magic stat for attacks. Yuri's strength could be a little better, but luckily I have a bunch of stat boosting items sitting around. I boosted my Yuri's strength by 10. I could have done quite a bit more, but I feel like that's a healthy enough boost to make this build shine. The gameplay loop is simple. You use your whirlwind abilities to increase the hit counter as fast as you can. Doing this a few times in a large enough group will fill your awakening gauge fairly quickly. Once this happens, activate your awakening and start shattering enemy stun gauges. Use your combos partnered with your class action to melt your way through as many commanders as you can before the awakening gauge runs out. If you have to hit a nearby enemy to save a hit counter reset, feel free to do so. Once the awakening state ends, the act of using your awakening should have filled all three bars of your warrior special. Now use one special at a time and one shot each enemy commander in your way. Due to cyclical specials, you might even have a fourth activation by the time you're done. Rinse and repeat. You start using your whirlwinds to build the combo even higher while waiting for your awakening gauge to fill back up. If you feel like your damage is more than enough, just use your combo and class action to defeat enemies and wreck everything in your path. Now as promised, the learned abilities. Sword Prowess is learned via Myrmidon, Thief, and Mercenary. Boost Critical is gained through Assassin, Rejuvenation is from Grappler, and piercing gauge from Warmaster. Essence of Wind is learned via Warlock, while Burst of Resolve is through Trickster. Cyclical Specials is gained through Dark Knight and Battle Instinct through Bow Knight. Absorb Speed is learned by mastering Dark Bishop, and finally Dual Onslaught's Mastery is gained via Mortal Savant. 